Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. This is React.js video tutorial series. Now in this video tutorial, I will explain how to bind data into a bootstrap drop-down list from an array list in React.js. And here we got the final output. Notice in this component, we have two drop-down lists. One is a simple select option element. And below that, we have a drop-down list, bootstrap drop-down list, India, USA, New Zealand. And these data, we have data populated from an array list into a drop-down list. If you are a first-time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Before continuing this video tutorial, I sincerely recommend please watch my previous React.js tutorials. You can find those video tutorials in my channel playlist. Now let's continue the today's tutorial. How to bind data into a bootstrap drop-down list from an array list. I'm using Visual Studio Code and I have created one React.js application. An app.js which is a default React.js component. Now first I will create one new React.js component into our project under source folder. Select the source folder, right click the mouse, new file. The file name is ArrayList.js and here we got our ArrayList component. In React.js we can create two types of components. One is a functional component and the second one is a class component. Now in this video tutorial I will create the class component. But before that we need to import the React class from the React library. Let's do that one first. Import React from doing single quotes from the react component after that i'm defining a class class name is the array list the component name and extends the react dot component after that this component default export default my component name is array list after that, I will create one array list and that array contains the data about some country names. So here I am adding my country, my country is equals to, now in this my country variable I am creating an array list called my array colon between square brackets I am adding the country names India comma USA comma and the next one is that New Zealand and after that and after that this component render I'm adding the render method and this render method return now in this return method I'm adding the root element which is a do tag inside this do tag i want to bind this my, my array list into a select element so let's add the select tag first inside this select tag now in the select element to bind the data into a drop down list for that i'm implementing the map method so let's mapping the my array between curly brackets this dot my country is a variable name to the property name dot my array dot map method is a map method inside this map method i'm declaring one object inside this object i'm adding the option element option inside this option i'm adding this data the parameter i'm passing the parameter data which contains all the array list India, USA, New Zealand. If you notice here, here I am not implemented the bootstrap drop down list. It's a simple select uh, option element. But before implementing the bootstrap drop down list, let's check the, uh, the basic output of uh, this component. Let's save this file, save all. In order to run this component on a browser, we need to configure our component in index.js file the index.js file is inside the source folder here it is the index.js file open that one 
If you notice in the index.js file, the default component is the app in the render method. I don't want to render this app component. Instead of that, I want to render array list component. Let's add that one. First import array list from array list. Let's copy this component name. Instead of app component, I'm adding the array list. That's it. Let's save this file, save all. Now it's time to check the output of our component and the browser. For that, go to view and select terminal. And here we got our terminal, which is nothing but a function or command prompt. And also notice the path is React.js Bootstrap IS, which is nothing but a um, the folder name. Let's add our project name also cd bis inside this bis. Now let's run this application. For that, I'm using the command called npm nested package manager start enter. See here we got the output India, USA, Los Angeles, New Zealand. Let's add the title also here. So title is equals to which displays the tooltip of our app of our drop down list. Reload the browser, see India, USA, and New Zealand. Now this is a simple drop down list, select option element. Now I want to make this uh, array list binded into a bootstrap drop down list. For that, let's visit. Uh, get uh, not get uh, react.js bootstrap and from the search results I'm opening the react bootstrap and here we got the react bootstrap website the bootstrap is a free open source so we don't require any license to use the bootstrap components so once you open the bootstrap react.js react click get getting started Notice here in the installation npm install react bootstrap. Let's copy that one. We need to install our bootstrap into our application. So let's install first that one control C. Let's terminate uh, the application. After that, let's install bootstrap. And after I run the command, notice the React Bootstrap 1.4.0. The packages are installed successfully. Let's check in the package.json file. So notice here the React Bootstrap is installed into our application. After that, let's close this JSON file. Go to top. We need to uh, first we need we require the CNN CSS style sheets of the bootstrap also go to CSS this is the link we require we need to import this CDN link copy that one and paste here and after that we require the drop down list also of the bootstrap go to again bootstrap website go to components option in the option in the components you can find the drop downs in the drop downs you can choose any one of the drop down. Let's select a uh, simple one. Let's select this simple one. Just for the demo purpose, I'm adding this one. I'm leaving the select element below that. I'm adding one drop down button. And this drop down button is belongs to bootstrap. So we need to import import between curly brackets let's add this drop down button and also we require the drop down also drop down from between single quotes open package.json file let's copy this library react hyphen bootstrap copy that one and paste here let's close this package.json file and after that 
uh, I'm deleting the two drop down items. Here, I just copy this code instead of writing the same code. I've just copied that one. Inside the option element, let's delete that one. I'm adding the drop down item. Copy this one and paste here. We don't require the href. Instead of href, I'm adding the title. The data. And here also data. That's it. Let's save this file. Save all. Now we'll check the new output of this component. Right now we have the select option element only. Now reload the browser. We need to run the application and the M start enter. See here we got the new output which contains the drop down list. Let's change the title also. The title instead of uh, drop down button, I'm adding the select country. Now, if you want to change the color of this drop down instead of blue, I'm adding um, the variant is equal to. Let's check the buttons. Go to buttons here. Here you can find the variant primary. Let's add the success, which is the green color. Copy this one. Success. Let's save this file. Save all. Now we'll check the new output. And here we got the final output. Notice in this component we have two drop down lists. One is a simple select option element, and below that we have a drop down list, bootstrap drop down list, India, USA, and New Zealand. And these data, we have data populated from an array list into a drop down list. Thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel.